Is this your experience trying to get Excel data into PowerPoint? Here are a few tips to make that process a little less action-packed. Tip 1. Click the placeholder first. Notice what happens when I just copy and paste this chart without selecting a placeholder on the PowerPoint slide. In order to get it in the proper size, I'd have a lot of stretching and moving around to do. Now, getting charts into PowerPoint shouldn't be like getting into skinny jeans. If I click the placeholder first, the chart goes in the right size the first time. Tip number two, just copy and paste. Choose your options later. Trying to decide the right options to choose when pasting is pretty difficult, but when the chart's in there already and you can try on different formats, well, that's a lot easier. So just copy and paste or use the shortcuts Control-C and Control-V. You'll notice this little Paste Options box shows up at the bottom right of your chart. In Excel 2010, hovering over these icons will show you how it will look before you choose. Tip number three, formatting. So you can choose destination formatting or source formatting. Destination theme formatting means to use the colors in your PowerPoint presentation. That's your destination. If you worked a long time on the formatting in Excel, you might want to keep the source formatting instead. You can choose either one for either linking or embedding. Now you can also paste a picture, but if you paste a picture, your only choice is source formatting. So make sure you have it right in Excel before you paste that picture in PowerPoint. Now about linking and embedding. If you don't want any changes to the chart once it's in your presentation, of course you're going to choose to paste a picture. However, if you'd like to allow future changes, automatic or manual, you'll choose either to link or embed it. When you choose one of the embed options, you are choosing to insert the entire workbook into the presentation file. Now you won't see it, of course, it's hidden except for your chart, but if you're taking your chart from a particularly large workbook, it's going to make your presentation file bigger by that much. Now if you want your recipients to be able to edit the data in the chart without having access to the location where your workbook is stored, embedding is the right choice. Otherwise, if you want the chart to automatically update when your Excel file updates, choose one of the link options. This will work for anyone that has access to the location where the Excel file is stored. It's an acceptable option for sending outside the company as long as you don't need those recipients to edit they simply won't be able to. And the last tip. Copying and pasting Excel cell data works similarly to charts, but just different enough to be confusing. At first glance, none of the paste options seem to be ideal. If you want to paste a picture, that's easy. You'll have to stretch it to the size you need. Choosing either destination or source formatting will paste your Excel data as a table in PowerPoint. Using embed will do the same as with a chart. It will put the whole workbook in there. At first glance, it doesn't seem like you can paste a link, but you can. You just have to do it from paste special. So from paste special, choose paste link here, and it will update automatically with your Excel file. Notice when I change this value on the left in Excel, it automatically changes on the right in PowerPoint. Hopefully this will make the journey from Excel to PowerPoint a little smoother and a lot more successful.